attorney next to uh, the uh, uh, director Plachi on uh, WSBA legal research tools. Uh, if you can uh, do your presentation in 10 to 15 minutes, that would be uh, wonderful. You bet. Thank you, President Shiketti. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, but before I get started, I would like to introduce you all because I don't think you've had a chance to meet my colleague who's here with me today, Margo Green. She is our practice management assistance advisor. So she does uh, consults with, with solo and small firms on how to best run their practices. She delivers CLEs and, and things like that. But I'd like to turn it over to Margo to introduce herself to you all. Thank you, Kevin. Hi, all. I'm Margo Green. Um, it's uh, really a pleasure to be here today. Um, I have been at WISBA now for a year. I have met Kevin in person yeah. one time. <laughs> it's a weird year. But, um, no, I, um, I'm really passionate about um, access, you know, equal access to justice and um, really have loved this past year supporting our members um, with their uh, problem solving, um, you know, business practices and implementing legal technology um, into their practice. Um, so hopefully it can help you. If you have any questions about docket alarm today. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Margo, Ms. Green. Uh, on behalf of the board of, the board of Governors, we welcome you and we're glad to have you on board. Yes, thanks, Margo. And just to add a little bit to Margot's introduction, she did practice law, I think, for four years in a small firm, family law, so has a lot of context on challenges associated with uh, small firm attorneys. So um, I'll quickly jump into our update on the legal research tools and then answer, Margot and I can answer any questions that you have. Uh, up until uh, late 2018, WISBA offered one free legal research tool to our members, and that was Casemaker. In December of 2018, we signed a contract with FastCase to add them as an added benefit to members. So after that uh, date, we were offering two research tools. And up until today, we've been offering two research tools, one being FastCase, one being Casemaker. And earlier this year, FastCase and Casemaker announced to us that they were merging their companies. Uh, and we've been following them over the past several months to kind of determine sort of how is this going to impact the two tools that we are offering to our members? Because logically, if companies are merging, at least in my mind, eventually one's going to come out on top, the other one's not. And we got some notification a few months ago about how that was gonna kind of shake out. And ultimately, FastCase is gonna be the ongoing tool. Casemaker will be going away. So Casemaker's the, the tool that didn't survive the merger. It will be FastCase. And so what we have learned as we've been in communication with now FastCase is that they have made the determination to, they originally made the determination that they were going to discontinue Casemaker September 1. Uh, and we've been uh, communicating with members on that and letting them know that this is coming. Uh, what we have been able to do as of last week, and this, this is, has just happened, is we've negotiated with uh, FastCase to move that date to September 30th to make this a little more give our little more lead time for our members and also to give time to transition our desk books because we do have desk book subscriptions which are paid by our members that are part of case maker that need to transfer over to fast case and uh, that transition is not going as smoothly with uh, between case maker and fast case as we would really like so they are extending it to september 30th to give us time to get that transition done and have more robust communications with our members. So um, what does this sort of now look like? Uh, we had two contracts, one with Casemaker, one with FastCase. The FastCase contract runs through December of 2023. So we have a contract with FastCase through, through December of 2023. The Casemaker contract was on a month-to-month -month contract. So it's gonna go away as soon as uh, Casemaker, the Casemaker tool uh, 
discontinues on September 30th. So we'll have no contractual obligations under the case maker contract after September 30th. <clears throat> uh, what um, Fast Case did do is offered us an opportunity, and I've got a memo, just so you know that the materials for this start at page 91 in the regular materials. I inserted a memo from March of 2020, which was brought to the board when there was a determination to continue both of the tools after the initial two years that we were running them. So in March 2020, the board agreed to continue both tools for three more years. So of course the mergers changed everything, but uh, where we are now is we have a contract through 2023. Fast cases told us that they would allow us to add docket alarm into the current offerings for an additional dollar per member, which under the current contract would turn into a little bit over $40,000 to do so. Um, Margo used fast case uh, when she was practicing family law and she did a pretty deep dive into the docket alarm tool to test it to kind of get some ideas about um, whether it would be a whether it's worth the value because fast case just initiated docket alarm at in early 21 so they don't have a lot of um, there's not a lot of experience with it and what I mean by that is other bar associations although they have fast case, haven't adopted docket alarm. And we did research to understand that. In her research, Margot found that docket alarm is, is short on state filings. And a lot of the analytics, which is a lot of what is sort of the, uh, the uh, advertised benefit of docket alarm are behind paywalls. So that means as a member, you would have to pay for some of those pay additional fees to get to some of those analytics. So because of that, we have sort of made the determination that we don't think the timing is right to move forward with adding docket alarm. So what we are um, looking at moving forward is just to maintain the fast case research tool in its current formation to really vigorously support our members in transitioning from case maker to fast case and evaluate, evaluate the whole docket alarm and sort of these premium services over the next two years because we're contractually bound with them for two years and see if, and, and get a pulse from members over that time about their satisfaction with the tool and any, um, any feedback or input they have on whether they would uh, possibly appreciate the add-ons. And uh, what this would get us is we end up at the end of September with one research tool for our members, uh, which is FastCase, payment of one contract, and then the resulting savings over the next two months while we sort of assess this and get a better idea of member satisfaction with FastCase, is a savings of about $65,000 a year because that's what we were paying. That's what we've been paying on the case maker contract. So, um, so that's just sort of a brief update on, on where we're heading with the research tools. And um, I, I think we'd just be interested in hearing any comments or questions uh, from you. All right, thank you, Director Pachi. Any uh, questions or comments from the governors? Not seeing any. Um, this isn't on for action. It's uh, just on for update. Is that correct, Director Pachi? Yes. Okay. Well, it doesn't look, it's late in the day. <laughs> it doesn't look like anybody has any comments or questions. Thank you for the presentation. We appreciate that. Um, and we'll move on to our final agenda item then.